Yes. And uh, Spiral, uh, maybe they'll see if they can uh, overcome this uh, the strategy from yeah. uh, Jake and Silver. Now, Aries and Spiral are definitely going to be more familiar with this duo, uh, playing against them several times. As I said, Jake and Silver come to auto events all the time. Almost all of our monthlies they're at. And they always go very far in the doubles as well. Uh, unless they face someone like Arius and Spiral or one of the uh, more regular combos from Ottawa who know the gimmick and they know how to play against it. They know their weaknesses. Yeah. And that's really what I want to see here is I want to see Red Team capitalize properly. Yeah, the gimmick not being used as like a negative term. It's no, like every, no, no. every team or, or certain composition has that, that one thing, you know? Yeah. Uh, a lot of the times it's, uh, it's, it's just what makes you win. It's, it's that huge benefit that you have. And that healing is, it, it's so scary, right? Because as you guys have been seeing throughout the tournament, it's uh, something that really allows them to establish such a strong lead. But that up smash or, or sphere uh, canceling the up smash is going to be finalizing uh, Spiral's first knock there. Yeah, Spiral under 100% on that up smash landed. Uncharged as well, just because of that aura charge, managing to actually have aura there without having lost stocks. And now look, almost max rage on silver. That back air almost killed a 100% Lucina up cross. It did. It did kill Lucina. <laughs> no jump. Caught the jump with the back air. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, yeah, that's just to say that it's looking really bad for uh, Red Team just as this game started. Not able to kill Lucas at 103%. Looking really difficult. Uh, looking like a difficult situation. But that pivot grab, oh my god, max range looking like Smash 4 DK. Did you? Like... <laughs> 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 That, that image of DK grabbing the uh, Hitbox Extended Wii Fit Trainer, yeah, that's what they're grabbing. It's, it's like DK right or Bowser, like, yeah. grabs the Smash 4, Just those were nuts. hold yeah. Lucas from under the stage to get <laughs> up right through the stone and everything, man. <laughs> Holy. Okay, so Unsafe finding uh, four silver there, and not going to lose the stock for it yet. Fourth, they're not going to kill. But, uh, 190. Yeah, man. Buff Lucina, man. It's... Buff Lucina after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but back here, finally going to kill. Looking like he honestly might have been able to survive that if he had slightly better DI, but just not able to make it work. Okay, so gonna line that up here. Um, looking like it's... Okay, yeah, I'm really liking how Arius uh, decided to go help out his teammate there. Saw he was in disadvantage in the air versus Lucas, and uh, that resulted in them finalizing that stock. Yeah, that was the, the tried and true uh, combo right there, the, or kills confirmed right there, rather, for Greninja, the Nair to Fair. Been there since Smash 4. A little harder to hit these days, I believe. They uh, they shrunk the hurt bot or the hitbox off the fair for Greninja in one of the first patches of Ultimate. Um, but still, you got to make sure you can do it if you're going to play this character. Yeah. And, uh, uh, so Spiral was doing a really good job of just really harassing both of them on the platform with his aerials. Not going to fall to that shield pressure though. Great stuff. Yeah, very uncommon for uh, Spiral to drop shield early. He's an incredibly defensive player, despite how uh, aggressive his movement generally makes him seem. Yeah, it's, it's really one of those characters that can play both the defensive and offensive game actually really, really well. Uh, you know, has shurikens to really uh, space you out and uh, take their time, while uh, things like dash attack and down tilt are very aggressive options that usually really uh, lead into a kill number. So. And there's also counter, which uh, originally unused, but seeing a lot of use out of it today, um, and Shadow Sneak is the biggest one right there. It's it's very aggressive and defensive option. But that oh, is... Oh, wow. I'm really liking what uh, Spiral did there. He actually jumped over uh, Jake, who's doing the side magnet, and was able to get to Silver. Oh. Wow. Stock's being traded. Holy cow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just a weird position, honestly. Uh, just a lot going on in that real corner there. Wasn't able to see all of it, but moving on, we are going to be seeing uh, Spiral at relatively really high percent. Has to be really careful. Doesn't want to lose a stock. And they have uh, Jake offstage where they really want to take advantage of uh, his recovery. Yeah, and really. Try and get that stock. If Spiral can stay away from Silver here, that is the big thing. You know, yeah. it's, there's not going to be too much that Jake can throw at that's going to end this stock. Even at 150 percent, he's got to catch. Uh, I gotta catch him with something good and fast and hard, which yeah. Lucas doesn't have a whole lot of. And this is Arius' opportunity to finalize that stock. Goes for the... Okay, so he's actually able to pressure him into air dodging early and losing his stock. Oh, no. This is looking great for Red Team into taking this game one here. It's actually not that bad for Silver as well, though. With 158, unfortunately, it was actually Arius that died first, not uh, Spiral there. So but if he's gonna he live? He's still alive now. He wants that kill. There it is with that down our Untackable situation. Now a heads up. 1v1, almost max rage, max aura on this Lucario. Yeah, I, I feel like this but, is honestly still fine for Arius, though. Uh, Lucina, one of those characters that really does well at uh, giving 
Silver, or sorry, Lucario, a lot of trouble. Spaces him out, deals with his recovery, ledge traps him really well, and doesn't really get hit by a lot of these uh, these uh, things. That projectile, though, really good in this matchup. Yeah, yeah, the other thing is, with all of this aura, that side B is going to hit half the stage. <laughs> so really, that, that could be a difference maker, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Arius, incredibly good with his spacing, very fast on his movement. Should be able to clean this up, but Silver... Okay. Yeah, there we go. The force palm was coming. Yeah, we we seen it. <laughs> it's one of those things that's really good for Arius. Uh, it's just that he's going for a lot of these areas. He's not staying grounded, right? Yeah. He's not going to be able to get hit by things like force palm as long as he's in the air, which is great. Exactly. And, uh, one thing that we've been seeing a lot from Silver is a lot of these viewer verses. Viewer verses with Lucario are extremely good because they shift your momentum completely, and um, Lucario's momentum already is really good whenever he's moving. So. You move quite a lot with mirror versus. With a lot of other characters, it's not usually the case, but uh, it's great because that Aura Sphere, when charging, has a hitbox. Uh, a lot of times he's able to get confirms off of it, as we've seen earlier, you know, Aura Sphere cancel into back air or down air or up smash. We've been seeing so much of it. So it's a really good tool that he's been utilizing, but uh, he doesn't want to mix it up too much because if he does it and doesn't get the hitbox to connect, then he's going to catch an aerial for it, like you exactly. saw there in the end of the game. So Exactly. And worse than that, it. If you start trying to get too fancy, you miss input it, it you air dodge externally, or USD, or you you know, you know hit the counter at the wrong time. There's all kinds of little technical ways that you can mess up something. Is, what, I mean, that's fundamental, I guess you should say. You should say, rather, as a... Uh, as oh, and the foot's a huge. Okay, are they going to be able to get the stock? No. Uh, Jake going to be do a great job at recovering there with the upbeat. Yeah, biggest difference between Lucas and Ness right there a lo a, is the recovery, really, but the yeah. distance on that upbeat as well as the tether recovery. Yeah. It's uh, it's great to see. Uh, but oh wow, down here into up smash not gonna work. Uh, I believe Aries getting a little bit greedy there. Uh, and he's having his teammate <laughs> right back on the stage. Letting him know he's like, you gotta get right back. Yeah, hey, this is my side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the up air. Uh, both uh, uh, both uh, Jake and uh, Arius getting sent uh, upwards, but uh, Jake's gonna be able to get that up air to connect and finds that first stock. Yeah, not as big of a head as some of the other characters in this game, but he ha does have the DK curls. Managed yeah. to get the big forehead up there. 100%. <laughs> DK curls, yeah. <laughs> it's the same hairstyle, man. I, I don't cut it, I just call it. Yeah, so the down tilt fair, uh, sorry, down tilt F tilt gonna be uh, finalizing that stock uh, for Jake there. Gonna be able to establish this two stock lead over uh, Red Team now. Yeah, this is a very good situation for Blue Team. If they get any kind of a stock lead, it's it's dangerous just because of the healing. But uh, you know what? It, a stock deficit's not bad either because of the aura. Everything works for this Blue Team. Yeah, it's, it's, it's why this seems so scary, man. Oh, counter. Not gonna work in F Smash oh. at, like, what, 30, 40? Gonna lose that stock. It's uh, what well, you gotta have to expect, expect when you commit too hard versus Lucario. Yeah. No, I, I respect the, the commitment there because, yeah, the headbutt has a big hitbox. If he didn't recover high, that definitely works, but Silver read it hard. Good though, they were able to take those first socks off, so uh, Lucario losing his aura and uh, getting his talk off Jake is something that they're gonna want to prefer anyway, so. Great string coming out by Jake right there on uh, Lucina. Just a little bit. That PK freeze always threatening as well. This is a uh, very crisp gameplay. What a great pickup with the Nair off of that uh, the side B from Lucina as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's looking really solid for uh, for Blue Team here. And getting get some healing off finally for the first time in this game. But uh, the thing about Spiral is that he's going to use his speed to his advantage. He's really going to get in there and uh, not allow them to really uh, exploit that as much as they usually would want to. Ooh, Silver trying to angle that headbutt to get a bit of a bounce off of the bottom in, in order to snap upwards after the fact. Missed, angled it, died instead. We are three stocks apiece, and if they can get this one off of Jake before he heals, that's devastating. Yeah, oh, but the L-Splash conversion, that worked beautifully for Jake there. Uh, oh, sending the uh, sending spiral down with the uh, downer, but not going to get the stock. But uh, yeah, 100% has to focus on getting Jake here. Yeah, watch what you'll see here is Silver really being the aggressor. Jake is going to do his best to fall back, sit and shield a little bit, just kind of space things out, PK fire some, until Silver can get over and heal him back up. He's big chilling. He, he knows that he really doesn't have to force the aggression. And uh, that's why they've been able to maintain lead so well, that they stick to their game plan 100% all the time. Great oh. little tick off the Dolphin Slash. However, the up he goes so far. Yeah, not only does it go far, but the hitbox on is very solid as well. So, uh, Jake able to recover. Uh, a big opportunity lost by Red Team, but 
Yeah, one good conversion by either team fully secures this at this point in time. Blue team just needs to take either of these stocks. That is a big take right there. The share stock coming out. If they can, oh, it's over. Oh, they weren't able to do it. Yeah, just bounce. Gotta get out. Not able to get it. Getting really aggressive here, but not able to finalize it. I'm oh. gonna catch that fair, unfortunate stuff. Yeah. Arius with the Nair, he's gonna get aggressive here. He kind of has to. The PK oh, freeze, however, wow. gonna end that for sure. That is two. This is a best of five, though. That was crazy coverage. I'm really liking the fact that Jake went for the PK freeze there. He knew that Arius was gonna push super hard to uh, to get um, to get silver. So yeah, and really, then the really control of it as well, making sure the PK freeze was in the right place at the right time because of the way that it arcs isn't always that easy. Cash. <laughs> oh well. But yeah, so one one. Also want to mention that you know Aries is sponsored by Flow State Gaming, and uh, Spiral is a part of the EMP. I believe it is a crew. Just a crew. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a local crew that uh, the majority of the Ottawa scene has joined and left and joined and left and joined and left. <laughs> Uh, honestly, the Ottawa guys, they got really big into crews a couple of years ago, started some rivalries, it went pretty well, it was kind of funny, good times. But uh, they all practice together now, and that's the way it should be, that's a community thing. Yeah. And so if you guys are wondering, we do have single splits going on right now, I believe Wave A is still going on. Uh, we have a whole bunch of big competitors. We have a whole bunch of uh, really good competitors here in... Uh, sorry, yeah. No problem, no problem. But yeah, we have a whole bunch of great competitors here in singles as well. Uh, I believe in Wave A, we do have, uh, you know, M9, obviously. We got Bashmo, a lot of the auto PR. We have some kind of players as well. But uh, yeah, we're going to be jumping right into uh, Game 3 here of uh, sorry, Losers Finals. If you guys are just joining in, this is Don't Keep Chairs here in Ottawa. Premier Regional. And uh, we do have Jake and Silver. Jake playing the uh, Lucas, while Silver is repping the Lucario, and then Arius and Spiral. Arius being Lucina, Spiral being the uh, Greninja. Okay. Yeah, a, lo a lot of really difficult situations to deal with right now. It's, 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 it's really hard, right? Because um, a lot of the times, whenever Silver is landing, he's landing with that uh, you know, charged. Oh my lord. He's landing with that charged out Aura Sphere, and gonna get that heal off too, but. Great stuff to uh, Blue Team, gonna be able to get that first lock off of uh, Spiral there. Okay, gonna go deep to the edge guard. That's definitely something that, uh, oh lord, gonna catch that air dodge. I'm liking that, uh, the patience at the ledge, just waiting uh, for Silver to do, choose an option essentially and then catching it. Uh, beside me, gonna be catching uh, Jake Well trying to recover, not gonna work. Yeah, just gonna wait out for the counter. We're seeing a lot of patient gameplay coming out from Arius, and it's honestly just working working perfectly for him. Okay, I get the upsell going, but we're going to be losing that first stock off of Jake, and that's what they want. The footstool, may, while it may have been accidental, actually benefited them, put them in a great spot. Uh, and uh, we're going to be moving into uh, getting Spiral back on stage. Actually going to reverse that real quick. Oh, goes for the Shadow Snake. Big commitment, but could have killed, so... Wow. Great okay, force me. bomb. Yeah. Great force bomb right there to end that stock <laughs> off the side. That is a terrifying thing to have to deal with at just at low percents, let alone when uh, Lucario starts building that aura for himself. 100%. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's one of those things that you always have to keep an eye out because he doesn't do it very often, but when he does do it, it's going to kill, right? So it's, uh, it's just something to keep in the back of your mind. Yeah, oh. little dancing blade right there, almost ending silver off the side. Not getting the nice hit of it, though, getting the inner sword. Oh, wow. Uh, not working out perfectly for Jake there. He really wanted to uh, the free spiral there, and he actually got it. That up, up there. 150 on the dot, basically, ending that nice yeah. and simple. And Spiral maybe having a little bit of tel tunnel vision there. Just hyper focusing on uh, onto Jake and not seeing the fully turned orange here. Just slowly going towards him and uh, gonna get hit by it. But it's, it's actually, oh wow, that was great. Got him with the hydro pump ending that one. That's that exactly is... what they needed. I feel like that's one thing that we sh we should have been seeing a little bit more from Kyle is using hydro pump to mess up his recovery because he's. I've noticed that Jake is starting to go a little bit lower. He's starting to utilize that upbeat a lot more. And if you squirt him out of it with that hydro pump, then he's not going to be able to recover. Yeah, it's it's one of those kind of gamble situations that really messes with your head when you're playing doubles. Is you get an opponent off off ledge. Do you go for a two v one situation or do you go for a ledge guard? And you have to make that instantaneous is my teammate okay judgment. Yeah, 100%. Completely. Okay. 
Oh, that freeze Going just yet again. ended it. There he is. Tried to go for the Hydro Pump, but it was a little bit too high. Not going to make it work. Yeah, it, I mean, he knows though, right? He's clearly picked up on the exact same thing that you did. Oh, hey, this is a great idea. Let me do it more. Silver with the counter right there. Okay, that would have uh, been bad. Yeah. Might have been a little bit greedy, but honestly, probably would have killed uh, Fair. That Such a potent bad. move. Uh, you know, I feel like <laughs> Lucas has more kill potential than we would have. Whoa, Silver! Yeah, and just making uh, Arius explode there. Yeah, and, and that's the that's the horrifying moment where you realize you have to kill this Lucario. Yeah. And, you know, the Max Aura just flat up air death. Or actually, yeah. that could have been a fair, because <laughs> the fair hits upwards as well, so I don't know which aerial it was Lucy that came out. going for a lot of these Nerdy Nerd conversions, but not getting them to work. Uh, constantly trying them again and again, but not getting them to connect. So uh, maybe you want to try something else, but yeah. they're still able to build that percent onto Spyro. And again, this is a best of five because this is loser's final. So no matter what, we're going to get at least one more game. Yeah. Okay, go for that top smash. Just 9% though. Use oh my that goodness. That's 30%. Yep. Really has to get rid of Silver as soon as he can. Yeah, it's great to rack percentage on Jake right now. Oh, no. oh okay. So, uh, Spiral is alive. Yep. Uh, definitely showing that he's trying his hardest. Not going to give up. Won yeah. that 2v1 situation. Now he's in a 1v1 situation. Uh, has a slight percent deficit, around 40%, but he's definitely still going to be able to make this comeback. But at the most, it's going to remain that, right? Lucas does oh, wow. not have the key factor of the healing in this team anymore. I would definitely give the player advantage spiral on it an, an average day. But yeah. Jake looking like he's feeling himself. Got the fires and the freezes on point. Rolls past the down smash at the ledge. Okay, gets the air dodge read, but he had that down tilt was not positioned correctly. Oh, this is so tight, so close. Crowd on the edge of their seats. That crowd, they're going to kill. Oh, that was oh wow. Yeah. And that's going to close it out for uh, Jake and Silver. Spiral, you know, honestly, working really hard there. Yeah. But uh, going to get grabbed. You know, he, he was out of deficit to start, so <laughs> it was a losing battle. He tried his hardest, but... Uh, he did everything he could to bring that back. Played it incredibly well. And then the stock off of Silver was massive. We kept talking about it. He finally got it with that down smash. He boxed with Lucas very well, but... My goodness, did Jake space everything perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, was, it was really hard for him to get in. Yeah, there was that nair to the fake fair follow-up <laughs> that uh, Spiral looked forward when he landed on platform. Jake had the book already open, six pages ahead, and said, I'm just going to land behind you. Yeah. And that's the thing, a lot of the times you don't even really need to press a button. If you're in the right position, you're in a good spot, right? Yeah. It's uh, it's just having that awareness and not overcommit sometimes, which, uh, which really does matter here. But... Yeah. Uh, Moving on, we're going to be seeing the same stage. Battlefield again. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really uh, uh, seeing any big uh, stage counter picks. Maybe it's just a comfortability thing. Or maybe they already think they're on their best stage. Yeah, Spiral just had a huge string over onto Jake for a quick second. Caught him on the top platform. Got him with a drag down into a head note. I saw up smash afterwards as well. Great gameplay right there. That's uh, that's the oh, soul. Wow. Oh, my oh, goodness. What the? Whoa. That was actually crazy because he hit him into the down smash, into the grab, into the up, up smash, smash again. That was the first time they actually got that to connect throughout this entire set. They've been trying to go for it. And uh, that was amazing stuff because that put them in a slight lead. They really have to focus on getting Jake stock here. That was so crisp and clean and is exactly what they needed to get that little bit of a lead. The stock advantage is so, so good for them right now. Except the force pump. Um, turns it around. Yeah. Oh, but the Ubi a little bit ill-advised, not able to get the punish there on Silver and gonna get hit with that PK freeze. Oh, just gets the air dodge here, but only goes for a jab. Arius just kind of playing cheeky right now. Just down tilts on the edge, just a yeah. one-two jab, just kind of hold the ledge right there, just saying, eh. Hey. that he can really space them out if he, if he just does it properly. Oh, no! Spiral unfortunately missed spaces back in there. Only got the first little light hit on the Lucas and the F throw. Not gonna kill. Wow, but, but the forward are gonna send off the top there. Uh, probably just the eye again and yeah. uh, gonna be losing that stock. So that's there a, goes. That, there stocks are evened out. Yeah. 114 over on this Lucario. I mean, you think that's a big issue, but it's really not for Silver. Oh, but the shot. Okay. Punishing and uh, has him off stage. Uh, tries to go for the dare, but isn't able to get it. I feel like Arius has to get back on stage because uh, he definitely doesn't want to lose his stock early when they yeah. work so hard to establish this lead. Spiral did a really good job drawing aggro there, so to speak, from blue team. Really got in their face with these back airs, kind of forced them into a position of if you try and ledge guard, you're going to be off ledge. Yeah. And uh, Arius really hitting all of his aerials here. And as I say, commentator's curious is going to make him completely whip that up B, but 
has taken a really good spot. Able that to get that force bomb. recovery. Force bomb is definitely the turning point for Silver here. If you can keep connecting them, however, connecting that fair off the side is spiral ending that stock for Silver. That is a last stock each situation for Blue Team here. They really got to start thinking about what they're doing because their gameplay has turned around. Yeah, I feel like uh, Ares is hitting a lot of a lot more aerials. He's really spacing them out super well, and uh, Spiral has started to get a lot more conversions. He's getting these kill confirms in. Uh, even if he's not getting them to hit, he's still positioning them where he can continue it uh, and uh, really continue to put them in disadvantage. Yeah, Red Team has had much better uh, rotations, if you will, in this game than they have in any of the other ones. Really kind of. Weaving in and out, swapping out which opponent they're fighting much better. Uh, not necessarily coming in to save each other per se, but they're in the right place at the right time just about every time. Just like that, area's over with that Nair to fish uh, like you oh, want to see Miles counter, fire. Yeah, really smart stuff, just kind of mixing it up there. We don't, we haven't really seen that counter too often uh, from Silver, so. Not land anyways, he does yeah. use it almost every time he recovers, but it hasn't hit. So has them in a really good spot right now. Red Team um, looking trying to get, put this into a game five as long as they can get rid of Jake Stock. Can we buff Greenwich's up throw? Like 168 <laughs> on Lucas and up throws not killing? <laughs> I got issues. And there we go. Ford are going to be finalizing that right there. Uh, great move to use versus Lucas because of his lack of range. And uh, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what they needed. This is something that actually I was telling them uh, earlier on. Uh, there was a position where they're playing versus uh, Cheesy and Great. And uh, Arius had grabbed uh, grabbed his opponent. He grabbed Cheesy, I believe. And um, Spiral went for an up smash, but he went for it at a distance. He was trying to throw into it. But in that kind of position, you can just go and hit your teammate because it yeah. doesn't matter. You're going to kill him and going to get that stock. So exactly. there, that's what they did. Uh, you know, just went straight for the hit. Doesn't matter if you're going to hit your teammate at that point in time. And, uh, and we come full circle game? to coaching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> full circle, man. And, and it's funny because uh, that's what I've been doing a lot recently. Uh, Especially with like M9 and Aiden, two of my players, I've been coaching them a lot at events more. Yeah. And uh, it, it's coaching is something that's super important. Like, it may not be mid set coaching, but like between games, you know, just preparing them, putting them in a good mindset, yes. giving them advice is something that really, really matters. I feel like at any player level, if someone's able to get a coach, you'll see improvement for sure. Exactly. And it's uh, to toot my own horn just a touch outside of commentary, coaching is, in my opinion, the only other thing I could really bring to the scene. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those things of being an analytical-based commentator, right? Yeah, um, yeah. You understand because you are as well. You you see so much going on and so many small interactions that the players might not pick up on themselves mm -hmm. that it's so simple. It, to us, it seems so simple to go, oh, just stop jabbing there and F-tilt instead. Yeah. And, but to the player, they don't see it. They just see the clank, and it's like, okay, well, I keep playing. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the times when you're playing, you're so hyper-focused on, you know, specific situations or, like, the matchup or, you know, trying to support your teammate or whatever it could be that a lot of times in certain situations, there could be a specific habit that you overlook. And uh, that's why I coach is so great is because you have another set of eyes and another perspective that really helps and aids in that situation. Um, FD, a completely different pick from Battlefield, obviously. We're going to be seeing a, a flat stage, which is going to be helping uh, both uh, blue team members quite a lot. Yeah, it's, it's one of those uh, interesting situations. It's, it's a lot harder for them to run away aerial-wise, right? Yeah. They, they can't really get away. Oh, and catches the jump in a great spot, hits him with the counter. That is what those Fire Emblem carrier characters need to do against the Onet boys. However, Lucas comes back from so far away, he yeah. kept the jump even there. Yeah, and Silver was actually doing a great job of covering him as well. He was going for dare stuff like that. Definitely could have killed uh, Arius if he was in the wrong position, but uh, yeah. Uh, after a lot of offstage shenanigans, just a very, very slight percent lead for Red Team. Yeah, it's almost unfortunate for them that nothing came, unfortunate for both teams really, that nothing came from that, but fortunate in the end as well. And uh, we're just back to talking about FD. It's a bigger stage. It's going to leave a lot of opportunity for that healing. I believe most teams probably banned this against Jake and Silver. I yeah, opinion. yeah. I feel like this is the first time we've, we've seen them on this stage, uh, at least to my knowledge. So um, definitely going to be a little bit more comfortable for them too, for sure. But, uh, you know, Red Team doing a great job of keeping them separated. And uh, uh, wow, wow, two ball. big punishes. Wow, and healing. Look at the healing back down to 67% after all of that. Uh, th this is terrifying. One stock take and almost a fresh stock for Lucas. Yeah, that was actually super unfortunate for uh, for Red Team there because uh, they got double force palm, but then he was able to get the healing off. Um, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> team kill. I guess if you're going to heal him that much at some point. Yeah, at some point you, you, know, you got to get that karma back. But uh, yeah, so far. Um, Really got to finish uh, the stock off of uh, the Lucas here. And oh, honestly, in a great spot. That's yeah. the thing, though. I feel like if, if Spiral went off... But he couldn't. That was the thing in that specific situation. Yeah. There was Silver was the one on the edge. Yeah. He, had, he had it 
locked so well just with the, the nares of uh, Lucario that there was no way to get out there and edge guard it. Yeah, unfortunate, man, but okay. Ooh, okay. A lot of shield pressure happening here. So much going on right now. 160 finally taking that stock off Lucas, but another huge force bomb, and that's Arius down to his last stock. I feel like that was something that uh, Silver like like hinted to earlier, but like didn't use it as much, and like just pulled it off for a game five situation. He's like, anything you do, that's a slight commitment. I'm force bombing you for it. Why okay. not? Right? It's, it's, uh, it's crazy. And you know what? Actually, the FD pick was actually smart because now they don't have platforms to retreat to. That's a lot more time, about. they're going to be staying grounded and they're going to be hit by that force bomb. Exactly. That's exactly what I was talking about. And why? Again, I think most... Ooh, oh, but the U-turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, completely changing lanes there. And, uh, Man got halfway great. through the province and I'm going home. <laughs> yeah, he's like, nope. Uh, but yeah, going to be offstage there. And, uh, you know... Hasn't been a really good position, but oh, gonna go for the tether recovery. Now that SD, I mean, yeah, it's unfortunate to lose the stock, but again, you're Lucario. Now you have more aura because you're that one more stock down. Is it's, it's all a bit of a trade-off for this blue team. Everything, yeah. be it good or bad, is it is good in some regards for them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, down to up smash. That's gonna be great for uh, Spiral there because he was able to, you know, really uh, isolate. Um, Jake there. Yeah, and a huge counter coming out for Silver, sending Spiral all the way across stage. And uh, Arius got to start being careful at 120%. One force bomb, you're gone. PK Freeze might even do it at this point. I feel like Arius has been playing so safe this whole entire game. This might be the time in which he gets super aggressive and just tries to make those big plays because he's on his final stand here. This is yeah. game five, so he really has to go kind of wild and out and uh, do the most he can. But that first spear charge into the up smash going to be finalizing that stock and he's going to have to take that stock off of Spiral so Spiral has to play really, really safe now. Yeah, exactly. The only thing faster than how quickly he died right there was oh, how quickly he shared that stock getting the, the gimp That was huge. Onto Jake, that was huge. Massive. Okay, so going off stage going to get that up beat. Jake going to miss that uh, tech situation. Uh, just going to be completely isolated. Oh, what a spacing! That was What amazing. spacing! Amazing. You know what? Uh, great positioning there. Spiral sitting at, at approximately roll distance while Arius was pressuring at the left.